I'm curious what You Will Not Remain is about, and it's only about a 10 minute download, which is not bad, so we'll see. Oh, it's even quicker than that, never mind. Really, really, sh really small and short. Perfect. Phrasing. It's fine. I'm Autumn Ivy, and this is You Will Not Remain. This game was made on the land of the Wurundjeri, Woirung people of the Kulin Nation. We pay our respects to elders past, present, and emerging. Sovereignty was never ceded. Colonial violence never stopped. You Will Not Remain is a story about isolation that contains dark themes and deals with mental health issues. These include but are not limited to anxiety, depression, dissociation, and suicidal ideation. Okay, so that is our uh, our trigger warning. So if you guys are sensitive to that kind of content, please be aware that that may be occur. I totally don't mind if you step away. Please take care of yourselves first and foremost, but be aware that that is something that can come up. Um, listen, I know Sims is getting werewolves in two weeks. God damn it, Starsickle. Don't remind me. I need to dump more fucking time and energy into fucking Sims. Twin's good. Twin's doing good. Um... Yeah, anyway, sorry. Uh, I'm Autumn Ivy, and this is You Will Not Remain. So please remember the trigger warnings, and let's see what this is about. Oh, there is no saving. Okay, fair enough. Oh. Hello? Uh, oh, um, what? Oh, it's time to wake up. Okay, I'm waking up. Thanks, Thallium. What, what do, do I, what, how, how do I wake up? Space? Again? How many more agains will you have? How long have you been here? <sighs> Does it matter? Okay. The leaves are drooping. You should water it. You fill the watering can and take it to the plant. You soak the base, hoping it's both enough and not too much at the same time. You've never been good with plants, and sometimes trying too hard is what kills them. Oh, that actually happens to me, though. Wait a minute. <laughs> is he happy now? Is the plant happy? He looks happy. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna hope he's happy. He's a happy plant. Uh, Iguana's doing good. You still have plenty of grounds in an instant when you're desperate. You haven't even gone through all the apartments on this floor, making it as much ritual as it is comfort. You cradle the cup in your hands, warmth seeping into your fingertips. It grows cold as you stare at the sink, the ceiling, the strange shapes your hands make around the porcelain. You pour it down the sink, wash the cup before putting it away. Maybe tomorrow will be easier. Man, this is all, like, we're two minutes into this and it's already fucking hitting me. What is going on with the window here? Is there... Oh, is that, a, is that like a TV? All right, no, there's the TV. Channel after channel of nothing. In there. Oh, wow. Oh, that's down. Okay, uh... Is it getting bigger, or was it always that size? If you were prone to poetry, you'd almost say it was beautiful in a fatalistic sort of way. But you're not. Haven't been for some time. You've run out of pretty metaphors for awful things. Yo, um... Can we... I didn't ask for you guys to pick a fucking independent game that wanted to call me out today, so... Um... I'm uncomfortable. Let's see how this goes. I get but fucking I'm gonna I'm gonna be bawling by the end of this, and it's it's your responsibility now. Just so you know. <laughs> There's not much else to do. You could walk circles around the apartment, or you could go back to bed. Pumper! Bark bark! Is that a dog? Impossible. It's been weeks since you've been stuck here. You would have surely heard it before this. Bark, bark, bark. Hey, Kenny. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, 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 okay. 
You better go see what it is, just in case. Come on. Open the door. You know you can. Can't you? Okay, okay! You can do this. Come on. Like, saying the words will help. Just do it. Okay, 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 okay! It's wrong. Everything is wrong. You don't belong here. You need to get back inside. It's only down the hall. You can do this. Pupper? I'm, I'm coming for you, Pupperoni! Okay! I'm here! Oh! There's something wrong with this apartment. Oh. Is that a dog? Why does it look like it has a scythe at the end of its tail? But it doesn't look like any dog you've seen before. It's thin skin stretched tight across ribs. Long body, all bones and hard angles. Hey, it, it's okay. I'm, I'm not here to hurt you. That's right. Everything is okay. Oh. Do you want to come with me? Is that a yes? It's a good pepperoni! Hi, doggo! Whoa! The dog jumps forward before you can react. You brace for pain and instead feel the drag of its tongue across your chin. It pants happily as it tries to lick every inch of your face. Whoa! Down! It drops to all fours, looking obediently up at you, tongue lolling out of a mouth bisected by wickedly sharp teeth. Well, it's this way, I, I guess. Okay. Hey, Peanut, how you doing? Oh, hey, thank you so much. I'm happy to have you here. I appreciate it. So this is a very strange apartment. I will give you that, but we're gonna, we're gonna go. You're glad to leave. Something's wrong here. A, a new kind of emptiness. No bed, no chairs, no life. How did the dog even get here? When the two of you leave, it'll be like nothing has ever been here at all. The dog follows at your heels, nose sniffing furiously at the air. Hey, stabbing! Just a little further. Thank you so much for the sub, Mr. Kitsune. I appreciate you. Come on, pepperoni! He's a good boy. Yes, he is. Or Goral. The dog runs in ahead of you, tail wagging so hard it makes a loud thump when it slaps the wall. Glad to see you like it. Look at the puppy. He's a good boy. This is enough excitement for one day. It's time to go to sleep. Bed? I guess you're sleeping with me. Let the pu You let the puppy sleep with you. You peel back the covers and slide into bed. The dog is a warm, sprawling mass above you, content to be pushed around as you make yourself comfortable. When you've settled into the sheets, it lays its head across your neck, warm, metallic breath lulling you to sleep. That's a, bit, that's a good way to fall! What the fuck? Uh, you're dreaming again. You remember being worried about her. You remember waiting anxiously at the door. You remember how the apartment still smelt of her for weeks. The sweetness of her perfume lingering in the sheets. They don't smell like her anymore. What is that noise? No. It's... No, you you can't do this again. If you don't think about it, it's it's like it never happened. Stay inside. Please, no. Oh, good morning. Hello? Upper? Okay, I'm up. That's certainly one way to be woken up. You can't complain, though. Not when it saved you from... Oh. Right. You have a dog now. A very strange-looking dog. I'll do it for the pepperoni. He's a good boy. Do I give bone? No, I do not. Plant, do you need watered? You watered the plant. Has it gotten bigger? It's not dead. Maybe that means something. I think so. I think it's growing. It's a big plant. Taking care of it. 
Harley, it's a great looking dog. You make coffee, just like every other morning. You cradle the cup in your hands, staring at the walls and the cage of your fingers around the cup until the liquid cools. Just like every other morning. But this time, something is different. The dog is here, looking more at home than you've ever felt. The coffee is cold, but you drink it anyway, bitter all the way down. Are you hungry? Oh, you're lucky we don't have any neighbors. Feed the pepperoni! We feed the pupper. You get it water and then fill a bowl with what's in the fridge. Patience, sausages, and double toasted bread. You hope it's good enough. When you set it down, the dog lunges desperately towards the food. Oh, oh, he's a big hungry pupper. And it's eating so fast you barely see it chew. You better not throw that up. Okay, we did a thing, pupper. Well, you fed the dog. May as well feed yourself. You cook with whatever you can find. Thankful for the electric stovetop. You eat from the pan, standing over the stove. No one's here to judge you. Oh, you've already fed the dog. What do they want? Does he want to go outside? What do I... What is, what is going on out here? Nothing? Okay. What do you need, puppy? You want to leave? Okay, well, I mean, you're the boss. Take the pupper for a walk. It's easier to manage the terror that climbs up your spine when the dog is so happy to be outside. Where are we going? Hold your horses! Oh, I gotta catch up with a puppy. It's fine. It's all good. That's a weird looking door. Where are we going? Oh, okay, bye. You've never been up here. Oh. Oh, that's... It's... You're worried if you stare too long, you might fall in. The dog stares at you, imploring, and for a moment, its eyes flash violet. No, you're you're imagining things. It's It's just a dog. Throw the ball. Message received. I gotta throw the ball for the puppy. The puppy? Get it! That's a good dog! It's a great dog! You can almost ignore the lilac grow glow when you're playing fetch. Forget for a moment that vast, otherworldly thing stretching through the sky. Can I just endlessly throw the ball with the dog? The dog doesn't seem worried about it. He's a happy pupper. What time is it? Noon? Evening? Probably midday. At least one of them. Maybe even all of them. <laughs> this is, this is, this is nice. This is enjoyable. I think that's enough for one day. Oh! We can come back tomorrow. Okay, okay, we're done. We go home now. We go home, puppy. Someone's in a rush. I like how this dog is taking you on this questionable journey to somewhere, but like you're not sure where. Alright, pepperoni, where are we going? Didn't take you long to figure out home. Hey, damper! The dog looks proud of itself. <sighs> okay, then. You're so tired. When was the last time your lungs had tasted fresh air? You can't remember. I'm sorry. I think that's all I have for today. Oh. I guess this is my life now. You go to bed, pepperoni. What a good baby. You crawl under the covers. You still haven't washed them. Not since. The dog lays atop of you. Heavier than expected, seeing as it's skin and bone. It cuddles into you. Knife-long teeth, a whisper from your throat. You can feel its heartbeat through the blanket. The gentle expanding of its chest beneath your hand. <laughs> oh, oh, we're here again. You wish this was over. I, I got big feelings on this game. Stay inside. If you don't let them in, they can't get inside. 
Silence. No sound. No thought. You type in her number into your phone. You know it off by heart. The sound of the buttons are a familiar melody. It rings out. You try again, and again, and again. Nothing. Miles and miles of nothing. Maybe she's fine. You try to convince yourself. Don't let anyone in that isn't already inside. She... She has to be inside. Maybe already downstairs? Just in time? Just in time. Yeah, I agree, Riley. Okay, okay, I'm up. It's time. Gotta water the plant. When you touch the soil, it's bone dry. It seems like it's always thirsty. A need so deep it couldn't be slacked by an ocean. You used to know something about need. Now you won't let yourself remember what it means to need anything, let alone want it. Oh, okay. First things first, coffee. You make it, hold the cup until the liquid cools. You look down at it, foreign in your unfamiliar hands. You pour it down the sink. You win some, you lose some. But feed the puppy? Here you go. You're slowly getting used to living with the dog. How long has it been now? You can't remember. You should probably name them. Good dog. Their name is Good Dog. What's your name? You can't keep calling them dog, after all. That's very helpful. Um, how about Rex? Oh, uh, Marble? Marble sink? Gas stove? Um, okay, uh, shank? Oh. Lamb shank? Lamb shank. Really? Alright, alright, I'm- you're the boss. The newly named Lambshank looks absurdly pleased with himself. Ugh, fine. Who names their dog Lambshank? Like, it's fucking cute! Like, our next dog is named Lambshank. You can't stop me. I can. Thanks, that was perfectly timed, Ellis. Oh, wait, no, we're not getting another dog! Uh -huh. Anyway. That was, that was actually really, really clever. That was quite clever. Nothing has changed. The sky is... it's there. Don't think about it. This is very interesting. How long has it been since you became stuck here? The narrative of this, of this game is really interesting, and I think that's what's drawing me in so hard. Someone could tell you had it... Someone could tell you had... You, Cause someone could tell you it had been weeks, months, or years, and you'd believe them. It's not like you can see the sun anymore. Sometimes you forget what other people look like. The way their skin feels, how the muscles in their back shift when you hold them. Just the thought of touching someone makes your skin crawl. You feel claustrophobic and desperate at the same time. Wrong. That's enough. Time to go back. What a good baby. Lamb Shank is the best dog. I like the pacing, though. Like, I'm not bored. I'm definitely drawn in by wanting to see what 
um, what the next steps are as this game keeps going on. Oh, here we go. You should eat something, but maybe you shouldn't. You only ate five minutes ago, right? Or was it five days? Do you think I should eat lamb shank? Okay, good call. You cook a meal of whatever you can find and eat it over the stovetop. I'm coming, I'm coming. Nope, nothing changed. Better not. You and Lamb Shank are used to this dance by now. You settle in together and drift to sleep. Uh-oh. You'd do anything to wake up. But that isn't how this works. Don't look at the sky. The sky? What's wrong with the sky? What could have possibly happened to the sky? So what do we do as humans? We go look. That's... It's... How? It hurts to look at. It's, it's wrong. Not made for this world. But somehow captivating all the same. But... Why? Maybe you're imagining things. Y you must be. This isn't real. This... Can't be real. A fever dream, surely. If you go back inside, the world will return to normal. It has to. She'll come home, and everything will be the way it always was. This is your public service announcement. The voice is robotic, clinical, and detached while the world forever changes. Do not let anyone in that comes from outside for the safety of yourself and others. We repeat, do not let anyone in from outside. No. Our homes are safe as long as we are in them. Do not let anyone in that returns from the outside. We repeat, people from the outside are displaying signs. Okay. Good morning. Predictable. Good, good morning. Good morning. Good, good morning. You, you take care of the plant. You don't feel like you're there when you water it. Your hands are unfamiliar. Your body unfamiliar. Your mind alien, even after all this time. You use... You used to go bed... You used to go to bed excited for your morning coffee. Now it's just another thing you do. What's on TV? You used to wonder when the power would turn off. You don't wonder about much of anything anymore. It's time to feed Lampshank. Of course it is. Feeding the pepperoni always comes first. That's priority. You fill up the food bowl. Oh. Lambshank likes it on the balcony. You don't. Something about him shifts under the lilac sky, pushing to be free. He looks hungrier out here. More alien. Is my dog an alien? Lambshank has decided it's time for fetch. I feel... I feel... This is... I don't... Mmm... Mmm... Mm, I got the big trust issues all of a sudden. Hey, Ender, thank you so much. I'm happy to hear that. I don't know. Squiggly scooches. Fair enough. We throw the ball. Sometimes you think about going outside and being done with it all. Finished. But you have lamb shank now. <laughs> Spacoon. You won't walk down the stairs and pry the boarded doors open. 
fingernails catching on wood and nails as you claw yourself out. Now, you'll stay here. For however long that is. Time to go, Lampshank. This is really interesting. Like, it's repetitive, but I'm not... I'm not upset about the repetition because the again the storyline and then the the narrative is really it it's keeping me engaged enough to want to know what's going on. Time for bed. Oh, huh? That's weird. You can hear something. Uh oh. Hello? What? Is is anyone there? No, you, you're imagining things. It's it's not possible. It can't be. Hi, Nod. Hey, hey, it's okay. I'm I'm okay. Are you? Lamshank's eyes are wide, body trembling above yours, scared. You've never seen him like this before. Did the radio frighten him? Everything feels so fuzzy. You pet Lamshank, running fingers down his spine, each vertebra sharp against them. You're so tired. Oh, we're back here again. What should you do? This is your public service announcement. The people from outside are marked. They can only get in if you let them in. We cannot stress this enough. Do not let her in. She will hurt you. Wait. What? Oh. Please let me in. She's she's here. She's safe. She's Do not let them in. They will hurt you. Please babe, please let me in. I'm scared. We repeat, they will hurt you. You're at the door, unable to open it. Heart beating so hard you can taste blood in the back of your throat. You want to let her in. You do. But nothing feels real. Everything feels real. You try to move to open the door, but your body isn't responding. It's like watching someone else. Like you're no longer there. Like you're watching yourself like someone else would watch you. Babe, hey, please, I'm so scared. So are you? White noise. White you don't think you could let her in if you wanted to. Not safe. The screaming starts. You are brittle, and this is what breaks you. I'm up, Lamshank, I'm up. Is anything real? This is real heavy, and there are slight changes of things I'm noticing as, like, the days are passing, which is interesting. Is anything real? Oh, honey. Is anything real? You water the plant just in case. Is anything real? Real or not, you do need to feed Lambshank. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. Is anything real? You fill up the food bowl. Oh, he big yell. He big yell. Is anything real? Interesting. Oh, okay, Lamb Shank. We're gonna we're gonna follow procedure, buddy, and see where this goes. Interesting. Oh, he's fast. If this is real, does it mean anything? And what's worse, that 
this isn't real, or that it is, and it means nothing at all. You can't even remember what she looked like, how she smelt. You can't recall how she fit within these spaces. It's time to go lamb shank. This is, this is, this hurts my feelings a little bit, man. Um, a little bit. Uh, grief feels a lot like this in, in some ways. For some people, I can't speak for everybody, but I remember this feeling. Uh, no, my feelings are hurting pretty bad right now, but I'm, I'm okay. Not a chance. I guess we're not eating dinner. Ready for bed, Liam Shank? You pull back the covers to get into bed. You're already half asleep. Attention, citizens! Oh? Attention, citizens! The city has fallen! That's enough, Lamshank. In the coming months, we will be evacuating any remaining survivors. Lamshank, we might be able to leave! Make sure to keep your radio on to receive pickup coordinates. Animals have been... Lamshank, what's wrong? Lamshank looks nervously around the room and flinches at the sound of the radio. We will tell you when it's safe to leave. It's okay. Let's let's go to bed. Everything is going to be okay. Oh. 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 Yo, Haven. You get under the covers. For the first time, Lambshank doesn't join you. Anything but this. I don't either. It's this is pretty hard. You can't. You can't open it. You turn your back against the door and then slide down until you're a pile on the floor. Thank you so much for the uh, for the teardrops and the subs, Shaggy. I appreciate you. We repeat. Do not let anything in. The screaming continues. On and on and <laughs> time passes in stops and starts the radio crackling in and out of life her screams softening pleas getting weaker as the days stretch into each other two weeks later the radio goes quiet and so does she Are you alone? White noise. Nothing but the ringing in your head. Somehow, the silence is worse than the screaming. You wake slowly. You're used to Lambshake acting as an alarm, all wagging tail and doggy kisses. He's across the room, staring out the balcony door at the sky above. Your dreams always return to her, though each time the memory is fuzzier, worn by time. Was she even marked? You'll never know. You water the plant. Something burns in your chest, but you choke it down. Without you, the plant would die. Ooh. No, you can't. Your stomach keeps turning over and over, like something is trying to escape alive. You leave it, the cup strangely lonely when filled to the brim. You fill the bowl, but Lambshank doesn't come running. Lambshank, food time. He ignores you. Come on, you need to eat. We're leaving today. 
Remember, citizens, we have cleared the way. The pickup zone is... It's time to go. Oh, he doesn't come this time. Okay. You'll never see this place again. Is that a good thing? Uh, they didn't mention where the pickup zone was, so I'm just going to assume it's on the roof. Hey, thank you so much for the follow, Cheetah. It is not on the roof. Can do. This is, this is really heart-wrenching in its own way for being so simple. I think a lot of the descriptors. What does leaving this place mean? What does the world look like outside these walls? Outside the city? Do you still belong out there? With people in their soft skin, soft hands, soft hearts. Will they now be as alien to you as the sky? There it is. The door. Oh. Come on, Lambshank. There was a time where slowly, one by one, people left. There were no boards then. Just a closed door with the world outside growing further and further away. You didn't see them often, the few that remained with you. But you could hear them. Human sounds that hummed in the background when you least expected. You pulled down one of the boards. Hush, Lambshank. The noise had been comforting. You weren't alone, but... They didn't last forever, and over time faded into nothing. They must have left, taking their chances in the city falling around them. Anything better than staying here, being inside, trapped like a rat in a cage, every day played out again and again until... You pull down a second board. Hey, happy pride to you too. Lambshank, that's enough. You've never yelled at Lambshank before. Shame blooms deep in the pit of your stomach, but you can't look at him. Know that if you see the fear and desperation in his eyes, you'll never leave. <sighs> Buddy, okay. You pull down the final board. A beginning and an end, you think. You'd been the one to put them there. A reminder to never leave as the city's siren song promised an escape. You lay your hands on the door, palm against the cool, thick wood. Lambshank, you ready? He's trembling uncontrollably, eyes darting around the room so fast they roll into the back of his head. You pull a key from your pocket, fit it to the lock, and turn the handle. Lambshank lashes forward, closing teeth on your sleeve. With a vicious yank, he pulls you backwards, away from the door. Fuck! Lambshank! Lambshank, what's going on? Every inch of his stretched skin looks like it's ready to fight. Lips peel back from inch-long teeth as saliva drips from a maw, gaping impossibly open, wide enough to swallow someone whole. Lampshank! No. It can't. Inside. You're inside again. What happened? 
Lamshank runs to his abandoned food, the leftovers of leftovers that you'd served still there, silent. Did it get you too? Did everyone else hear the radio? Follow its lure to the door? Lamshank happily devours the food, ghostly tongues scraping the dregs from the bottom of the bowl. Thank you, Lamshank. He jumps on the spot, looking absurdly proud of himself. Really, I mean it. Hold your horses. Oh, oh, there's a lot to process. Okay, hold on. Nothing. You're not sure what you expected. Coffee? Can you just go back to this in-between life of fetch and half-consumed coffee? Is it really that easy? Nothing. Tonight, or maybe tomorrow, or maybe a week from now, you'll throw the radio from the rooftop. Lamshank was right to be afraid. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. It's got my it's got my curiosity. We're gonna see where this goes. I feel like this somewhat turned into a weird ASMR stream too. So sorry about that. Wasn't expecting it, but I'm here for it. <laughs> Time to play ball, Lamb Shank. You've gotten used to the violet light beating down from above. The creature seems satisfied. If such a thing is even possible. It's not roiling in the clouds, instead breathing slowly around the tips of skyscrapers, the longest, softest breath you've ever felt vibrate through your bones. This is fascinating. Is this... it? Thanks, Lucid. Is this... everything? I don't know, man. Seems like a pretty good life to me. I'm down. Just... Is this where you must remain? Existential fetch! Was the final achievement unlocked. That was interesting. So again, that was You Will Not Remain, available on Steam. Uh, made by Jordan Cook, Erwin, T-Dog Extreme, Gabriella Logren, and Talia Rasso. I hope I got those names right. Um, that was very interesting. And I, I'm not even mad. It just kind of, it just kind of left us there. Um, my assumption... Because there, there didn't seem to be more options other than going back to bed the first time or answering the door, which I'm assuming means that there's alternative... Maybe there's alternative endings, perhaps? I want... I want to see if, if getting up and going a different route makes a difference. Like, what happens if you ignore the plant and ignore the coffee? Okay, let's see. What if you ignore the dog? Oh, okay, so it doesn't let you. Interesting. Hey, Mr. Creepypasta, how you doing? Okay, so let's go pick up the dog. Bye, Valkyan! I just want to see if there's if there's anything further we're missing here. Yep, okay. All right. So I'm speeding through this right now. Um, and don't forget, if you guys came late, you're welcome to catch the full thing on my YouTube channel. Um, I will be posting VODs, um, thanks to uh, M. Dosik, who is an amazing uh, editor. I appreciate them, but they will post this up later. <laughs> okay, so... 
let's just go to bed and see what happens. So the first dream that you have, you can answer the door or go up to the door. But I wonder if that makes a difference. Oh, okay, you can't. All right, so I will check things out. Hey, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate you. Um, we're close to a hype train. So, oh, so the plant can die. Okay, so there are, there are some, some changes, it seems. Interesting. Hey! Hype train! Thank you guys so much. Do I do I have to flex for the hype trains? Is that is that what we're doing now? Do I flex for hype trains? Yeah. Whatever. Close enough. Um I think I'm going to wait and check out more of this uh later on and see if there's something a little different i definitely loved this game um again if you guys have what would like to check it out and maybe find some endings for yourself assuming that that's the case um again this was you will not remain the developer on this was bedtime phobias um and of course publish why publisher wise it was you know an independently published game so um Hey, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Happy Pride. Hey. Oh, thanks, Nephilim. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, but um, really, really good game. I definitely enjoyed it. Um, I still feel like I'm missing some pieces of it. And there's a lot of, like... There's a lot of extra, like, the dissociation was, I think, really big. And some of, like, the, like, ignoring the plant, letting the plant die and things like that was super pertinent. So I'm I'm definitely interested to see what else there is. It looks like there was two achievements that I missed um, for that one. Lambshank was a good dog, damn it. Okay, so that was that. Uh, that was You Will Not Remain. I gotta say, not bad. I'm going to move us back to just chatting while we figure out what else we're doing. Cool. All right. It does. It definitely feels like it has more. It really does. Thank you, JPAT. Um, I'm here for it. Like, there... The substance of the game was repetitive for the most part, but I almost feel like that was an intentional element of it. Um... And really, I mean, the whole thing was about the the narrative as you as you went through the game. So I don't know. I was I was pretty. I'm pretty here for it. 